Welcome to my chambers. Is the President of the United States obligated to enforce all laws, even laws with which he disagrees? The general answer to that question is yes. All presidents take an oath to uphold the laws faithfully. The word faithfully is in the oath to remind them that they may need to enforce laws with which they disagree. When it comes to immigration, however, American presidents since Ronald Reagan have a pattern and a history of not enforcing the laws literally. Every president from Reagan up to and including Donald Trump has decided not to deport uh, undocumented aliens who are the parents of children born here, their children are American citizens, and undocumented young people who came here illegally but in their infancy or as babies and they had no choice in, in coming here. Now we learn that there are about 800,000 people in these categories and President Donald Trump has decided it's time to enforce the law literally. Should he do so? Well, the courts have told President Obama that he can't rewrite the law so as to exempt these people from deportation. Only the Congress can do it. The question is, can Donald Trump see his way out of the goodness of his heart to leave these people alone? They are not problematic. They are not committing crimes. They are not disrupted. In fact, these 800,000 human beings are an essential part of the workforce, and most of them are fully Americanized. I'm talking about the young people who came here as babies and have no roots or connections in the countries of their birth. When the president decided he wasn't going to follow what his predecessors did, he gave everybody six months to sort this out. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. I think he's putting pressure on Congress to write immigration reform, comprehensive immigration reform, along with border security. And in the process of doing that, protect those who came here as babies and protect those who came here and had babies. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight.